Oh, okay. It's recording. Okay. Welcome everybody. This is free to D with the VIP. <sighs> this is, I, I, I listen, I'm going to tell you guys something real quick. So I'm going to jump right into it because I, it's been, it's been whining and chiming, whining and chiming because you got so many people watching YouTube, watching the Lander Street interviews. I'm talking about Marcus and talking about those three young ladies. And, you know, you got all that going on. And you know why? Because, you know, I don't bash for cash. That's all I'm going to say. I don't bash for cash. Let's see, I don't bash for cash. That's what I am going to say to that. Not only that, um, you know, I don't try to be the outside person disagreeing with shit. I mean, we can agree to disagree and debate because ain't going to be no rebate. You ain't going to change my mind how I feel about a certain situation. I'm not going to change your mind. But all the same time, what's happening is folks is being re-triggered. Like I told them last night, your ass is being, you being triggered of your residue. He ain't, he's not re-traumatizing them. He's re-traumatizing you of your residue because everybody that played the fool, been a fool, been, been somebody's footstool. Everybody on this planet, I don't care what it is. You have went through, you have gone through it with a relationship. And kept going back to it in a relationship. So it's your residue that he is traumatizing. Because my thing is, I'm on um, the shit of um, why you keep bringing strangers to your house. That's what I'm on. I'm on those type of choices. And another thing I told them, so everybody, I'm telling you all, we had this little argument at work. And I said, you, we can listen. Like I said, you're not going to change my mind about how I feel about home, the topic or the situation. I'm not going to change yours. But what I am telling you, you got some residue. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I told Hunger. You got some straight residue. I've been the fool, played the fool, been somebody's fool stool. Everybody has has gone through a particular relationship like that, that has set them back, that hasn't snapped them back. Right? So let's get on this. Then once again, if you continue, it's like father say, pray without ceasing, right? Pray without ceasing, pray without ceasing, pray without ceasing, because if you keep doing something over and over, you're going to move some shit. Okay? You're going to put a groove in some shit. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Check me. So these people, I told her, you keep talking about him, talking about him and talking about him. You're going to fucking fall in love with him, whether it's negative or positive. I said, I'm going to give you a perfect example. I said, I don't like beats. You're not going to hear me talk about beats. You're not going to hear me go look at beats. When I go in the store, you're not, I'm not going to even go around no beats. You don't talk about shit that you truly do not like. You don't even think about shit that you truly do not like. Like I said, I don't bash for cash. So this is what I'm telling about three or four of adults, older women. These are older women. These are not women in their 20s. They 40 and 50 and 60. No, you still got residue from your dude. So it's easy to pick him apart. But we're not talking about the fact that he is helping people and, and, and connecting them to resources. I say he's the teacher, not the preacher. We all got weaknesses you have to work on. You better tweak your weakness. You got to, like I said, that's your residue. Girl, they was hot with me. Oh, they was hot. They was hot. Because, see, they was all in the group talking about talking about this dude. And I was sitting at the desk. I was like, oh, I know about Leonard Street interviews. I, I'm watching, you know, blah, 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 blah. I wasn't, even, I wasn't even getting into it. You walked your ass over to my desk, and I put your ass to rest. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> Y'all talking about him standing on business. You can't even stand on your own business. All we keep talking about is those three young ladies. And this is another thing that I said to them. I said, we got to stop coddling our young ladies. And ooh, we and oh, that happened to her. Hell knows about your motherfucking choice. So how girl asked me, so you don't think it's nothing wrong with him sleeping with those broken women and trying to him? Girl, you crazy. Right? I'm telling you, they was hot. Files rolling and shit. I'm telling you, paperwork flying. Boss had to come back after that. I said, what the hell is going on? She was hot because that's that residue. So how you transmute your residue and your pain, she identifies. So what happens is when uh, Atlanta Street Interviews did what he did, what she did, what she identified back with her pain and it gave her a strain. That's what it is. And so for you to order to get rid of that pain, she, she gave her past gas. So these women are giving, I said, you giving your past gas by talking about him, whether it's negative or positive, because energy don't know wrong or right. They don't know nothing about that shit. It's energy. You feed that energy. So it's going 
come back and manifest in your life. It's just coming back. It's just coming back. This is why they can't stop it. Right? Okay, check this shit out. <laughs> I said, how I looked at it, oh, I'm homeless, dirty and shit, on the street. This man taking me to his house. Shit, I would have walked up in the house. Damn. Copper feel good under my fucking feet. Damn, his sheets are soft and shit. Damn, I'm going to take a shower. Damn, he, you know he got the best bath and uh, products and shit to smell good. And girl, you should have took a bath and sat in that tub. and It should have it should have triggered some shit, all right? Should have triggered your ass to stand up, fuck up, and get up. Yeah, it should have. Damn, this dude want to touch me, and I'm homeless? Wow. He just let me know, you bitch, you worth it. But see, we don't talk about those things. We don't talk about the things he say behind the scenes to let the young ladies know that you worth it. Get up. He got resources to connect you to. We didn't look at the fact that, oh, he's connected and I can get directed. I can get some instruction and come out of this destruction. No, we didn't look at it like that. No, we didn't. No, we did not look at it like that. Right. No. It's about your choices, folks. Especially with my women, folks, it's about your choices. He could have been some, he's stairs. He, he, he's a stepping, he's not only a stepping stone. You're going to get rid of the stone if you listen. Somebody got to do the job. That man is connected. He's got resources. He, he does. So when you ran into him, when father, when you ran into you and father put him in, in your path, you're supposed to took that and you're supposed to make the right choices. You were supposed to make the right choices. Not get mad because we can't call him no more and we can't get no more of this. Not get mad because we see him flirting with somebody. But not get mad because you had your own agenda. He's a Gemini. I'm going to tell you something about a Gemini. Ain't too much you can get over on a Gemini male. Especially one like that. No, that's the, no. It, it's, what you doing? They got two hearts. They can love two people. They can go both ways. That little smile, crooked smile he be showing online. Like I told her, I said, let me explain something to you real quick, honey. Don't get him twisted. You better not mess with his kids, his money or his honey. You're going to see a whole different side of that man. He will kill somebody. Don't get it twisted. As sweet as he can be. So when he... Tell, like I told her, when he tells them to look at their pain, he brings it up and he asks them how they feel about it. Because if you do your research, once you shine a light on it and stop identifying with the shit, you can get rid of the shit. That's how it works. No, nobody's no psychiatrist. No, I'm not a psychiatrist. All it does is take common fucking sense and spiritual sense to look behind the wrist and stop labeling cabling shit. The reason folks is homeless and get depressed is because they don't want to look at their pain. They don't want to look at it. They don't want to open it up. And all you got to do is shine a light to it. That's all. And that's what transmuted and mutes it shit. When you shine it, you got to shine light to it. So you have to bring it up. You can't say, oh, you need to go to the professional. No, some of the professionals is not working because of the simple fact you got to have a spiritual perspective on the shit and see the shit for what it is. You got to shine a light. You got to go through the fire. You can't start. You can't get your fire back, baby, unless you start the fucking spark. The fuck? Yeah, we got into that kind of conversation yesterday. Y'all, I'm not even bullshitting. I was like, what the hell? Like I said, I was at my desk. You walked over to my desk. Don't get mad because I put the shit to rest. I, Cause I heard him in the in the uh, cafeteria about this dude. I said, "Damn, Mark is all up in the library in San Diego, California." I be damn, right? I'm not gonna sit up there and pick a person apart pieces. And, and like I told her, I said, and I heard him say he's his chest moves wasn't his best moves. He didn't already explain that. He already said that he shouldn't have at A, B, C, D, and he's um, changing, rerouting his behavior. He already said that. But no, no. Homegirl in the office yesterday talking about, nah, he's just a manipulator. He's just gaslighting. He just this and that. And I said to myself, once again, I said, that's your residue talking. That's that Negro that dogged you out. That's who, that's who that is. That one that hurt you. That's, that's, that's your residue talking. Because at the end of the day, he ain't got to explain his stuff to nobody. He does that out of courtesy. 
But no, we we keep chewing. That's and that's the problem with women and especially black women. They want to keep chewing on shit, chewing on shit, chewing just chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it apart. If your man apologize for some shit, get and you gonna keep him there and y'all gonna rebuild, rebuild. Shut the hell up. I don't get it. I'm so the opposite. I came my, my when I was married, my husband was the one to chew. I, I used to tell him stop. Stop chewing you. You going over it and over. How many times you want a motherfucker to apologize and, and explain it? So you want to you want to keep going over it and you re, no, he's not re-traumatizing them. He's re-traumatizing your ass. How you going to re-traumatize them when they are already down in the dumps? They are already homeless, depressed, can't get no rest, already sleeping on the streets. OK, they are already on drugs. What do you mean? What is he re-traumatizing? No, he's fucking opening up the fucking uh, the portal for their ass so they can come out of that shit. That's what he's doing. I don't even think he know what he's doing. But we want to talk about he's a pervert. He's asking sexual questions. Hey. Spirit sent him to do a job. Somebody got to do the damn job. Right? So anyway, I don't have nothing else to say about that, y'all. I just wanted to tell you what happened. Um, um, I just wanted to tell y'all what happened at work. I mean, I'm serious. I'm, when I say I mind my business, I be, I, be, I may be saying shit in my head like, uh, no, you know, whatever. But I'm not going to go into the cafeteria and pretend like I'm eating something, warming up something and get into a, a conversation. No, I'm not doing that shit. I sat right at my desk. Girl, you want to bring that shit out there? Come on now. <laughs> I wait till shit come to me. Just like my YouTube channel, for instance. You have to be, you have to have that spark. You got to be hungry to build that shit. I'm not hungry for it yet. I come on when I got something to say and get on out the way. You feel what I'm saying? I'll be on YouTube watching all the, the, the beefs and the thieves. You see what I'm saying? Those, those are nothing but beefs and thieves. Thief, uh, I'm telling a beef ain't nothing but a thief. You, it's all about your energy. And then folks want to talk about energy and they vibe. No, your vibe is taking a dive, baby. Because you're on that jive. We want to shame people to, to, uh, to get it right. You can't shame nobody. And I told them yesterday in the cafeteria, I told them when she was sitting there, all of them came out and I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in, in, in my elders. I'm an elder. I'm disappointed in y'all. Who the hell y'all think y'all are to keep picking somebody apart and talking about somebody? Who the hell you think you are to do that shit? Yeah. Who, who do you think you are? And you just keep talking about it and calling somebody bitches and late and all that. Who, who the hell are you? You got to go through the grow through. That's as simple as I can get it. I got a daughter. She's 28 years old and she be making. I always I tell her all the time. You want to be the right motherfucker to the wrong motherfucker. So see, that's just the problem when you, you're pretty and you're cute and you're educated. What happens is you got too many fucking options and you don't know your choices. She won't. Now, see, I know which one of the, the, the dudes like her and want to get with her and want to treat her right. But no, 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 no. We're not going. If you, you ask me what shirt to wear and if I say the white one, you're going to wear the black one. So I let her go through. But this last incident with this last dude, I, 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 I got up in her ass about that. No, you're not doing that. What the fuck are you doing? I told you, you always want to be the wrong motherfucker to the right, to the, to the, the right, right motherfucker to the wrong motherfucker. I said, ask yourself why. The ones that want to treat you right and take you out, want to get to know your son and your mama and your family and your brothers and shit. You, you don't, you, you be tripping with them you, you, one way. Get the fuck out of here. But anyway, y'all, let me get off here. That's all I had to say. But um, yeah, that was a conversation. I, I make I make sure shit come down my way. <laughs> Cause I got my own way. So you got women that's being triggered and it's their own residue they need to go through. They have not dealt with yet. It's triggering them something in their past that, that they keep giving gas to, period. They can justify it all they want to. They can justify it all they want to. And let me tell you something. Like I said, if you keep talking about somebody, thinking about somebody, watching somebody, picking them apart, you're going to end up falling in love with them. Watch I tell you. Keep playing with him. And then not only that, you're going to pick up some of them. You're going to draw some of them negative energies or them dark forces that he's dealing with. Because we all got a, 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 a demon on your back that he's dealing with. You, you, you're, you're, when you think about shit and, and, and you're emotional about the shit, you manifest shit. Uh-huh. So you gonna what's going to happen is all that shit going to come right over there to you. Keep playing with it because we, we on YouTube. I keep bashing for cash. 
<laughs> my channel used to be an intuitive channel. I can't help that I see I see right I see right through y'all. See right through you. Now they haven't brought up the young lady Sunny yet. I'm waiting for them to bring her up. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm waiting for them to bring her up. Because they ain't brought her up yet. But somebody gonna bring them up. And you gonna bring it back to my desk. I'm gonna put your ass to rest. I'm gonna put your ass to rest. I'm going to say this about the young lady, um, Solid Sunny. If you notice, every time they touch her, every time they do something, motherfuckers get karma. I, nobody's paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention on what's going on. Every time they do something against her and what 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 another thing that pisses me off i i forgot let me tell you this what i told home girl you motherfuckers talk that bullshit oh i'm not trying to do this i'm not trying to do that i didn't call nobody but you put the information out there for somebody else to get it so they can call get the fuck out of here stop playing with me i can't stand people like that but you'll talk about it around people that you know that would make a call. You'll talk about it around people and put it out there and know somebody going to do something. But then when it happens, oh, I didn't do that. It's no difference than robbing a damn store. Oh, that store over there, I'm going to tell you something. They don't have no security. Um, the, uh, it'd be the 10-year-old at the cash register, and, and, and they be going to the bathroom, and uh, um, they be leaving the register open, and they leave thousands of dollars on the counter. What's the difference? Knowing that that person or the one of them people going to go in there and take that money and rob that store. You just put it, you, lay, you, you gave them the layout. You gave them the information. They can't fool me. You can't fool me. I'm sorry. So folks need to go deal with their residue. Take time out and deal with your and and, 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 and as as fathers say, look at what's in your eye that's giving you a sty. This is free to D. You gotta go. Talk to y'all later. Bye.